Uh, several years ago, the FDA designated psilocybin a breakthrough therapy to treat severe depression. Now, OSU re researchers are taking a closer look at the possible effects of this drug on other mental health issues. As far as I know, this is the first university license for whole magic mushrooms. Magic or psilocybin mushrooms are commonly known to cause hallucinations and the inability to determine fantasy from reality when ingested. And now, thanks to a license granted by the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency, Ohio State University is growing the Schedule One drug on campus for the sake of research. As soon as we got that approval, uh, the world of possibilities for what we were able to study started to open up. Associate Professor of Mycology Jason Slot says this license approval took several years. He says they plan to use the mushrooms for two studies. One, to look at the effects of the mushrooms on the evolution of animals, and the other focuses on the mental health benefits. What we're interested in is how all those other things, all those other chemicals that are in the mushrooms could be uh, affecting the therapeutic potential of the, of the mushrooms. OSU is partnering with researchers at Interstate, a mental health and wellness company. CEO and founder Ashley Walsh says they want to look into if other chemical compounds in the mushrooms, along with psilocybin, can create greater benefits in the form of a pharmaceutical drug. Well, if we've got psilocybin and these other molecules working in tandem, could we potentially have one specific drug to use for, let's use, for example, palliative care. Walsh says that pill could help in reducing depression and anxiety that comes with serious illnesses. She says research done at universities like John Hopkins and NYU also supports what they hope to accomplish. Move the stigma away from psychedelics as being something that creates people to jump off of buildings to actually helping cure things from alcoholic disorders to depression to OCD. And because it's a Schedule One drug, the lab where the mushrooms are being grown is not being disclosed to the public and is protected by surveillance cameras and police officers. All this in an effort to reach one ultimate goal. The big picture is helping those really in need communities and being able to change policy to allow for affordability and access to these medicines. She expects to start learning what other chemical compounds these mushrooms are made up of to then be able to move forward with a potential pharmaceutical development. Carly Dion, 10TV News.